Good morning. This is Indoor Girl, and I'm here with Dwayne the Rockwood Camper at Sun Outdoors in Rio, New Jersey, or Rio Grande, New Jersey, uh, which is just about four miles from the Wildwoods, and also just up the road from um, Cape May, New Jersey, which are popular destination spots every summertime for people. Uh, just so you know what the situation is, Dwayne is an A-frame pop-up camper and there are no onboard facilities for toilet or shower. We do have a kitchenette, and that's why we have a gray tank that you can see there. So I'm doing this from that perspective. Um, so this site, PO2, is very near the pool. And I'll pan over here. So the pool's just through, well, it's around the road, just through those trees. And uh, real nearby, so very convenient. Uh, if you enjoy the pool, which we did, and their pool is really nice. One of the best ones that we've been to at a campground. Nice size, plus two hot tubs that are adults only, which is really nice because that's the law in New Jersey. And uh, also a kiddie splash pool. So really, really nice setup they've got going on over there. And uh, across the way over there is a laundry and also a restroom shower house. And uh, that's really nice and convenient since we don't have an onboard uh, facilities. And uh, one shortcoming of that is that the toilet stalls uh, don't give you a lot of knee room. Now, I'm not super tall. I'm 5'8", um, which is on the tall side, but not real tall. Um, so if you're taller than me, in the ladies' room at least, I don't know how it is in the men's room, um, it was kind of cramped in there uh, with my knees and stuff to get the business done. The good news is, is that there's another restroom just down the road here, not very far, just down there. Um, that has more knee space and so um, if you need more knee space that might be more interesting to you to get a spot uh, down there now we have a water and electric only site because we don't we don't need sewer um, <clears throat> excuse me and so a lot of people will use this for camp uh, for camping with tents and things like that and we have had a family here or having a family reunion they were very lovely uh, with their tent set up and so there were tents all around us uh, for two nights over the weekend now there is full electric here, so 20, 30, and 50 amp. Uh, so you can run just about anything there. We run 30 amp. Uh, there's also water, so you can see the, here's the thing there, and there's our gray tank for our kitchen sink. Um, and then I'll come around to this side um, so that you can see here are the other campsites that are nearby. Um, we have this nice little area over here, which is kind of off to the side uh, for our activities. And so, but we were surrounded by tents here the night. Very lovely family, so we, we really enjoyed that. Very nice people. Um, and then there's the water, uh, the water setup. All right, well, I hope this tour has helped you um, decide if this is the right spot for you. Uh, all of these spots here are similar uh, surrounding it. If you look on their site and map, uh, Sun, this is Sun Outdoors. And so it's one of the newer properties they have here. Last year we stayed at the other Sun property on down US 9, and uh, we like this one better. Um, the setup is better, got a better pool. The other one was nice too, but but we have a better pool. Oh, uh, one tip if you've hung on with me for this long is that uh, you're right on US 9, and so if you go north and then hit, uh, what, 147 on US, uh, off of US 9, that'll take you right over to North Wildwood where you can get to the beaches real easy and avoid the crazy traffic if you try to go down 47 uh, into the Wildwoods that way. So go north on 9 until you hit 147 and then you can miss a lot of cra crazy traffic if you're trying to get in there and get to the beaches and get to the boardwalk. Additionally, if you go south on 9, uh, you get to uh, Cape May really easily and uh, no tolls either direction. So. Uh, so it's really conveniently located for both places and there's grocery stores and all sorts of things around here, places to eat breakfast if you don't want to cook at your campsite. All right, hope this has helped you out. Please help me out and give me a like uh, down, on the, down on the bottom there. And uh, I'd appreciate that very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.